Welcome back. In the last episode, we went down to the crater of Paldea and the great crater of Paldea. That's so hard to say. And we came to our first little research station, or radish. What did he say? Radish station? I forget what he called it exactly. Something along those lines. Radish power? I, I honestly cannot remember what Arvin said. I almost never saw my mom in my whole life. Oh. Is it time for the backstory reveal? Penny, shh. She was always busy with work, hardly ever came home. I cooked for myself, cleaned for myself. Mabistiff was the only one I had to talk to. So yeah, I don't really know her at all, even if she is my mom. I tried not to think about it too much, tried to just be proud. But the truth is, I would have rather just had a mom who was there, even if it wasn't anything great. I haven't seen her for ages unless you count seeing her in the news or whatever. I used to at least get emails sometimes, but even those stopped a couple years ago. And then there she appears out of the blue and tells me we've got to come down to Air Zero. Some family, right? Oh, uh, but we're not here to judge or anything. And I'm, I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. Nah, I was also giving you a hard time. Sorry, uh, Penny. My name's Penny. You know, you're actually pretty nice for a little pipsqueak. <laughs> Don't call me pipsqueak, you big lunk. That's the spirit, you too. I really love the character work. Honestly. Like, the character work in this game. For Pokemon standards? Wow. That's a brave year. Can I? I can, but can I? Yes. <laughs> love it. Don't love that, though. Okay. What is this Pokemon gonna be? Sassy Mint. It's a new one. I was not expecting that. Kind of went off the beaten path here. Don't know if... Took a wrong turn. Last time I came to the Great Creator, I was trying to go see my mom. I got about this far when I got attacked by some uh, kind of creature I'd never seen before. Really, what kind of Pokemon was it? It wasn't even like a Pokemon, more like this crazy, violent rampage. You sure it wasn't just a Pokemon that's a little more, I don't know, rampagey? Yeah, I'm sure it was a completely different creature altogether. And it hurt Mabustiff real bad, so it's not like I just forget. I don't ever want to run into that awful thing again. It was that strong, huh? Then I really hope I get to see it. That's what I figured you'd say. You're real tactless sometimes, Nimona, you know that? Here's the thing, I don't think Nimona cares, because I don't think Nimona knows what the word tactless means. To be fair, there's a lot of words I don't think Nimona thinks she knows. Venomon. There's a lot of fully evolved Pokemon down here, and I think that's pretty cool. Still can't ride Karateon, huh? Okay, you know there's a Pokeball down there. You know it. You just... Okay. Mm, avoid you two. Definitely don't need Giraffe Rig or any of the... Any of that family. Okay, don't... What did I just say? Don't need you. Okay. Flame Charge. Honestly? Not bad. Could have been worse. I'll, Penny. <laughs> Girl. Leave me alone. I, I dig ya. You're cool. But back off. Stop shoving me, man. Man, that bird here just popped out. There's a lot of Medicham spots, you know? To be fair, I have no idea if I just went like off the beaten path here and I'm like going farther away from my intended goal. Or, if not, we're doing good. Lycanroc. Well, I guess that answers my question. Yeah, we're doing good. I hope. I mean, this area just looks so cool. That's all I gotta say. Is he gonna say the wrong thing again? Because that'd be cool. The second research station. About time to... 
Yeah, what googly goodies are we gonna get in here? Huh. Let's let's head in and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. <laughs> Whew. I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. Hey, look, it's a jiggly puff. It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here too. That's not a jiggly puff. Oh my gosh, so cute. That's uncharacteristically a penny. That get away. Get away, Penny. Get away, Penny. Look at it. It looks like a freaking vampire. Are you kidding me? Get away from it. What the what? Ah, what's well, battle? T it's battle time. Oh, so I get to battle with all three of them. I get it. So which one are you using? Which evolution are you using? Madame Vier. Scream Tail. Umbreon. Nice choice. Nice choice. Gotta admit. Aqua Jet didn't do as much as I was hoping. Let's try some acrobatics. What a dick. What a dick. Man, the lag is making this go by super slow. Oh, that was me. Okay. Bam! I'm really not doing much damage to this thing. Yeah, it's just lowering its attack, not its defense. Can I just... We get it! It's sleeping. Yeah, Shell Bell. And I think this thing is fairy. So we'll throw you out. And <laughs> I can see the hammer. Oh, jeez. There's my babyish. Thank God. Gives me time to test this out. Yep. And a critical hit. Way to go, way to go, Penny. Seriously. What was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of ferocious for Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. What a great team we have. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously. What's with this place? That Pokemon. I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these. Huh? What's that book? Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these huge ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from a, such a beast. It was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat at time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed passing resemblance to Don Fan, yet differences such as its sheer size and the shape of its back set it apart. Monsters of Area Zero. So they aren't actually Pokemon? I I don't really know. What do you think, Odin? I don't think they're regular Pokemon, but I think they're Pokemon. 
Hmm, maybe. They definitely do look different at least, and I've never seen any of them in a Pokedex either. Suppose the time's come for an explanation. Professor, some of the life forms that you see residing now and within Area Zero are ancient Pokemon that lived in a distant past long lost to us. Ancient Pokemon? What? That's awesome! Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab, where I am locked, contains a time machine. It summons the ancient Pokemon to this place. So the thing my mom spent forever researching down here, she actually got it working. Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine, you mean you can actually travel to and from the past? It is theoretically possible to travel to the past. However, for being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Mom, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Odd. Please use the central panel there and disable another lock on my lap. Okay. Yes. You're the professor, better pressure. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Odd. You know the book she told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one she expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Take care of it for me, okay, Odd? That's a hard pill to swallow. At least I can resume work on the Terra Project. I'll move my research to the Zero Lab this month. My team will be smaller, but no matter. The strong influence of the crystals makes our experience much more unstable. The crystal power is tremendous. Their unstable output made our corporate backers fret. If we can harness this energy, it will open up research possibilities we'd only dreamed of. The last paradise will be ours to create. I'm pretty sure this is from the original expedition team. Which I remember, if I remember correctly, Sato was a part of it. So there's that. It can't be. It just can't. But then who? Seriously? A time machine? Feels like we just stumbled into a sci-fi novel or something. I can't believe I get to Pokemon battle Pokemon from a whole different era. This is incredible. I'm so glad I came here with you. Yeah, that that kind of would be your thought, wouldn't it? You know, let's put Skolar phone. Sure, well, why not? What's that panel? I... Curious. But... Um, no time to think about it. Let's run. What are your parents like, Nimona? My parents? Normal, I guess. Are you serious? Even I know about your dad. He's on the board of the Rotom Phone Company. Wait, how do you know that? Everyone knows that. He's famous. And I guess I looked into him for my own reasons, too. So Nimona's actually some pampered little princess from a rich family. Uh, no, no way. That's not my thing. Though, so, yeah. I guess you could say mother and father were like hands off, but in a good way. My big sister will probably take over the business, so they're pretty much let me do whatever. Wait, you call them mother and father? That is some pampered little princess stuff right there. Gah, Penny, what is your family super... None of my family is unbelievably annoying. Wow, you want to know what's unbelievably annoying? This Corviknight... Why is Brick Break super fat? Whatever, Thunderbolt it. Ooh, that didn't... That didn't kill you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I just may throw an Ultra Ball at you. 
I just may catch you, maybe? It seems crazy, I know. But join me, maybe? I don't know where I was going with that. That's a little weird me, but... I don't know if I've caught one, and I'm gonna say no, because... I don't know, I've caught the whole thing. Like, super overprotective, you mean? It's just my dad. He's loud and clingy and makes up weird nicknames for me like Pen Pen. He's the most annoying in the world. Most annoying most annoying guy in the world, period. Man, that's a real downer for your dad having his own daughter describe him like that. Don't you dare take his side. Uh Odd, how about you? Your mother seems super nice. You met her? Yep, got a glimpse of an amazing looking sandwich she made me too. Or she made too. Really? Wish I could have seen that. I bet it tasted great. Uh, maybe let's not delve into my mother, please. Thank you. I want this. What is this? Water move? Aerial ace? Flying move. Okay. Arvin! Get out of my way, you fool. You fool, you fool, you baka. Dude, there's so many directions to go, but I saw a Pokeball over here, so we're going to go here. Mild mint, a new mint, another new mint. We are pretty minty. <laughs> I'm. I hate myself, but I. I guess I live with myself. I guess I don't have a choice but to live with myself. Is that? Yeah, that's just Volcarona. It's just Volcarona. We're good. We can go. There's research station number three. Which means we got one more left. I will say these sparkles that are everywhere really throw me off. Because they make me think I see other sparkles. And then I don't. Because it's just the air sparkles. And I'm like, but ground must have item, right? And it's like, no. It's just sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle. Careful, mint. New mint. Do we? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Damn, that's some good leveling you got on you. Oh, crit. Wasn't that quick. Wasn't expecting a crit, but I'll take it. Because I don't think I have one. Yeah, it didn't. Interesting. Lovely. I don't even have a Vin in it. I've seen it, obviously. But I don't have one? Ooh, this one's got more vines on it. Alright, another research station. Dang it, I wanted him to say Radish. But I guess this is the one where we team up, me and Arvin. Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out at us again. 100% guaranteed. <laughs> Penny. Is that your worry word? What? Huh? Oh! See? See? Wait a sec. This is just that. Like, this is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was an ancient Pokemon all along. Well, you battled one of these before, Arvin? It looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, Odd and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. Oh, dang. I was about to say, I did not think you were going to be good. Ooh, you're weak to ice. And fairy. Screw it, be luster soul. I, I want to throw in Madame Vier, but we used Madame Vier for the first two, man. Well, the first one was her and Skull. 
The second one was all her. Yeah, thank you for the rapid spin. Oh, your speed rounds. Mabo stiff with that. Huh? Oh, dang. That crushed. But I guess he does have a high physical. Ah, oh, nah, nice, 69. Oh, way to go, Slifer. See that, Victory's eyes? Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Urban Mystica came from down here. You two got to meet one of these Pokemon before a great or a crater get together? Jealous. Uh, if we've got things from literal ancient times roaming around Paldea, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Sada gonna do doing anything to keep them under control? How could she let this happen? Yeah, right. Because it's not like the oh-so-brilliant Professor Sada ever messes up. Come on, Odd. Let's get into that research station. Dude, that character... I just can't get over the character work in this game. It's so much better than, like, previous games. Like, literally. And I just realized... This is the only time I've ever thought to look behind one of these research stations, and that makes me feel dumb. <clears throat> A. And made it to station number three. How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Hmm. You feeling rough, Penny? Hmm. Oh, no. It's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the past, right? Oh, so when Violet, it's from the future. Okay, I get it. So what about Karadion? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those ancient Pokemon? I know you're probably right. Never thought about that. Hmm. I think you're onto something. It's kind of giving off ancient vibes. Even its name sounds pasty. Wait a sec. I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin. You had Karadion's ball. And you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? <sighs> you still remember that from way back. No wonder you're everybody's little star people. Guess I've got no choice then but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon Karadion, that is, it was found by my mom when she was working on her time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor, Karadion, which I entrusted to Odd, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the past by the time machine. Seriously? Through analysis of its genetic makeup as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact an ancient form of Cyclozar, the Pokemon still commonly ridden in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokemon also come to this place from across the boundaries of time. But I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Karadion. Huh? You mean there's another one around here somewhere? What if they're family, and the other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero waiting to finally be reunited with Karadion? A heartwarmingly family reunion. Exactly. Imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can get this family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah. That sounds nice. If we could proceed, Odd, please disable the lock on the next central panel there. Huh. Our books seem to have been dwindled down from two to one. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue on to the final research station. Our time machine has yielded a triumph. A Pokemon from ancient past. I've named it Karadion. I was expecting one new life to treasure, but what fortune to be blessed with this gift as well. <clears throat> Interesting. Nice. 
You know, we've yet to see Slifer down here. If that other Pokemon really is one, f the only family it has left in the world, they must want to be together again, right? These plot twists really tug at the heartstrings, don't they? Not that I'm complaining. You can leave any wild Pokemon up to me. I'll have them beat in no time so we can march on. I want to know what the panel does. The freaking teleport panel. But I also don't want to step on it just in case I lose progress. That I don't want to lose. So Corian's an ancient Pokemon. No wonder no one's seen it before. Uh, you've got to let me battle Corian right now. Um, it still won't come out of its Pokeball. Oh, right. That was the first I heard of it's coming from its past myself. It was just some weird Pokemon my mom brought home all of a sudden one day. We all lived together at the Lighthouse Lab for a little while. My mom made me promise to keep it a secret, and I had to take care of it for her too. So that's why you knew so much about it. Yeah, but then one day Karadion just went nuts against some wild Pokemon. A few of the folks living nearby ended up seeing it, so the secret was out. Once that happened, my mom took it, and it went back to Area Zero. Guess that makes sense if a Pokemon... Yeah, if people found out, it'd be all over the news. I didn't see my mom or Karani again after that for ages. Looking back on that, it seems so stupid. I feel like I'd lost my mom because of Karate on. It was the worst feeling ever. I just hated Karate on and everything about it. Didn't want to even talk about it. I'm so sorry if for not telling you. You should be sorry. Shoot, that's like the coolest thing ever. You didn't tell anybody? Yet. Yeah. Sure, it would have been great to know all that relevant. Dang, you guys. Harsh. I really wish it was going by so freaking fast. Also, there's so many cool Pokemon here I want to catch. But it's like... I do this, I throw a quick ball, it break out. Because it's super cool. And that's just how life goes. Right? Oh, this is a great catch. But it's not. Okay, or I just caught a Glamora. Oh, it's rock poison. Oh, that's why it's weak to water. Doy. Um. Zwilus is a dragon, so I don't. I don't see this being caught so easy. I mean, it's super close to leveling up, though. So, you know, bonuses on that one. And Tink a ton leveled up. Beam Blader! Still need to catch the first one, though. It's literally the hostile Pokemon. I have seen a dino, but I haven't caught one. Oh, there you are. Scream Tail! Such a weird name. For a second? Didn't think it was going to work. So that went a lot better than I was expecting. It's very psychic. That's actually very cool typing. You know? I mean, it's one we've seen before. Obviously. Okay, Zawilus. Did not want to fight you. Are those just normal? Yeah, if it's just normal dumb sparse, I don't care. And it's just a dig trio. Yeah, I think that's it. It's just as wireless. Oh, the ostrich is here too. Oh, of course. I didn't want to run into you, Glamora. The arrogant. The arrogance. That's a pretty shot. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, look at all those huge, gorgeous crystals. They go all the way to the bottom. One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Oh, good call. Watch your step. So the professor's down there somewhere waiting for us. And that's fine. Totally fine. Alright team, watch yourselves and let's get to the bottom of this thing. This place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down here like the stories say. Yeah, this place like something from a whole other world. Makes you feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere. Is it just me or do the crystals here give off some glow as when Pokemon terrestrialize? There's got to be some sort of connection. Only one way to find out. Come on, everybody. Let's keep moving. We gotta go all the way down. I mean... I hope there's a base down there. Because I sure as hell didn't visit four. <laughs> ah, only ran into three. Uh, it's a da 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 dun spars. Da 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 dun dun spars. He's got like chin straps, man. Who's that? Crit catch? You can always kind of tell because it's a straighter throw if it's critical catch. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a weird shot. Weird angle. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Add it to the box. Okay, you little dick. Nobody cares. Screamtail. Get the hell out of here, man. What are those? What are those? Seriously, what the hell is this? It's a glimmit? You've got a pre -evolute? I guess you're not a legendary. So I guess it makes sense that you got a pre evolution That's just cruel. Bro. I don't care, man. I know it's funny, though. This is a new battle. <laughs> guess what? Quick ball. <laughs> That's right. I am playing around, my friend. Yeah, I figured you'd have terrible experience. Alright. Don't know why I crouched, but I see you, Transformer. You look like a Transformer. A garnicle. Mm, that arched. I do. I really do like Garnicle. I think he's a cool looking Pokemon. I just get nice salt from you. I mean, I guess you are a rock salt Pokemon, so. I don't have your. Mid stage. I I do like how the Glamora like clings to the wall. I think that's kind of cool. Why are there no? I was about to say what 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 was the point? If no Pokeball. And there was a rare candy, so you know, it's not bad. Screamtail, get away! Yeah, I forgot about that strat. Just buy a bunch of quick balls and then just repeatedly run into the Pokemon until you catch it with the quick ball. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's honestly not a bad strat. So Crotion came to our age through a time machine. Then it lived here a while with the professor along with another one of its kind. Seems to be the story. So we brought it back home, kind of. Or to its second home, at least. I guess this place should be familiar to it. Sure. Oh, that's great. A chance to unwind and bask in the familiarity. That doesn't exactly jive with how it's been acting all spooked since we got here. Doesn't seem eager to come out of its ball anytime soon either. Really? I thought it was just scared because we were so high up. 
Huh? Who said it was scared of heights? You did. Given how Karadion was acting earlier, I think something bad happened to Tua here. Sometimes you get all shaky seeing a place that you've got bad memories of. It was the same for me when I was being ignored by everyone. It made me want to hide away somewhere. I know, I so I know how it feels. Oh, Penny. You stupid little dick. You little prick. You saw me in your rear view mirror. I saw you in my rear view mirror. You little dick. I am so mad at you right now. I am so mad. Earth power all you want, ass. I can't know for sure, but it doesn't change into his battle form anymore, right? So I think it's possible. But that's so sad. We gotta do something to make it feel better. And no, I'm not just saying that because I super badly want to battle Karate on for myself. Seriously? Well, at least you said it and not one of us. Nimona, you're kind of unbelievable in a mostly good way. I'll say this. I don't think I have you, though. So I am going to get out of my way, people. I was about to say, you little dick. Did you want to fight or not? This time I brought somebody you should be scared of. So get in the quick ball. <laughs> and then it's ostrich birds time. Because I don't think I have one of those either. Oh, we just quick ball strat this. Till we get it. To be fair, I could have Duck Trio. I really don't remember. Answers no, I do not have Duck Trio. <laughs> Alright, where's the ostrich? I. Guess it ran away. I don't know. I have everything else. So I mean, there's that. Am I supposed to go there? I, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It'll pop up eventually. Pretty sure we have done sparse. I mean, I can't. Gibble? Garchomp? You guys are the bane of my existence. I don't think I have you guys in this game. Obviously, I have them in general. But I don't think in this game. Nice. Because I tried catching, I'm pretty sure I tried catching a Gibble in that one cave, and it just would not catch, and I gave up on it. Although, I guess I eventually caught one. Alright, Gabby, what about you? One level for you, and you're literally evolving. That's insane. You little bitch. You know what's funny about that? I'm running away. <laughs> That's so funny, right, Gibble? You were in the middle of a move, and I said, nah, dog, running away. Also, not that it would have been effective anyway. Ah, oh, what a dick. Seriously? No, it got rid of Sandstorm. Ow, my neck. We will do this till you just get in the quick ball, bud. Wow. Wow, you really want to do this, huh, Gabby? I mean, Gibble. Gabite? Yeah, Gabite. I'm tired. It's 2.21 in the morning. And maybe that's why this Gabite was fighting so bad. Because it knew. 
See, guy, you, 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 you literally hold me up, hold me hostage. Yeah, I knew at least didn't have you. I have all of you though. Dang, it's like the only one pop not popping up is the only one I don't have. That's the stupid ostrich. Give? What's oh, another terrorblast? Okay. This was literally a dead end. I was like, I'll just walk through there. Can't. That's not a path. To be fair, I'm going to get down there and they're, and they're going to be like, well, we can't get in anyway. We haven't unlocked all four things. Yeah, I know. We're like, come on, this place is just so cool. Why are they so different, man? Why are they popping up out of nowhere? Just like, dude, I didn't see one before. Now they just won't go away. Makes no sense, my man. Whatever's wireless, get out of here. I already have a shiny, I already have a full shiny line of guard chomp. I don't need another one. As cool as it might be, it's like, eh. I've got a shiny gibble, guard chomp, and gabite. I just hate that they don't sparkle in the overworld. That makes me mad. They should sparkle in the overworld. Just saying. Like, I know some people said that ruined it for them in Legends of Arceus, but it's like, come on, dude. It's a literally serotonin. Like, that was the main thing I loved about shiny hunting in uh, Legends of Arceus. Aside from the fact that it's literally the most accessible game to shiny hunting. And I mean that. I didn't have one. I thought I didn't have one, but it's like the, I thought there was an off chance that I did. Oh, does Frittle evolve into that? I did not know that, nor did I make that connection. Why are you on there, my friend? Oh, is this the fourth one? Whoa, what happened? This place is a mess. Looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. God, Professor, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Come again. I'm s s sorry, sorry, s s s sorry, uh, s s sorry. Uh, hello, children. He hello, hello. What the heck? Stop that! You're creeping us out. Hello, children, children, and and, and children, Chil children, and children. Initiating restart. The professor must be having some. Some weird connection problems or something, huh? Well, it was definitely weird. At least almost like... I don't know. If she meant it as a joke. It wasn't funny. Still got goosebumps and all. Do you want to press the button? Hell yeah! All locks disabled. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me now? Please f f forgive my precious, my previous transmission. There seems to be some signal interference. That's not what that was. What do you mean, Arvin? The locks have all been disabled at last. Please make your way now to the Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. I think Arvin's right. It's not what that was, but okay. 
You, Mvir, the rest of your team are all... Is Mvir really up front? Oh, that's right. I remember now. Looking at the damage, I have a feeling maybe some ferocious Pokemon battle here. Have you disabled the lock yet? I'm off for leaving this place as soon as we can. That... That was almost like... No, it can't be. Can't be what, Arvin? Anyway, with that, uh, we have now disabled all the locks. And like I said in this video, that's what we were going to do. We we're going to do the rest of the three bases. And we will finish off this story mode, I'm assuming, in the next episode. So if you want to capture all those buttons down below, that'd be great. Remember, only you can be the best you you could possibly be. And ta-ta for now.